really want to go and play in the sport, but they say I can't because I'm just a girl. I feel like I can be good at that sport, but they're not letting me because I'm just a girl that I might be fragile, I might break an arm or I might break a leg. It's like discrimination. Yeah. Much, yeah. yeah. In Australia, one woman is killed every week because of um, the violence, either by their current partner or former partner. So we started thinking about, okay, what can we do about it? We realized that, um, you know, the sporting is the best settings because the sports is a setting has a lot to offer for communities and also especially for the young people. Let's Play Together in Hume program was developed to build capacity in the six sporting clubs within the 3064 catchment area in Hume. And that included basketball, two basketball clubs, rugby, soccer, little athletics and tennis to increase equality and respect for women. This also included getting more women involved and girls playing the sport and also increasing more women involved in leadership positions, such as coaching, umpiring, and, and them on the committee board levels. Dinella supported Leisure Networks in implementing the uh, initial club audits at the start of the program to the six sporting clubs to actually understand and determine what their specific needs were and what actions and resources and uh, training were required to uh, help them promote respectful relationships and gender equality within their clubs. The reason we sort of looked around at, at different providers that had the skills to deal with um, you know the questions that clubs would have around this and also having the expertise of Dianella being the local community health provider to, to start to, to put in some of that funding and facilitate that, that partnership with uh, ourselves, Hume Council and Leisure Networks. I think that was very beneficial for the clubs. Um, right. This was a different voice coming at them and speaking to them in ways that they understood and, and trying to give them the messages about inclusion and, and welcoming everyone into their club and particularly um, you know, increasing their opportunities for women and girls. Um, the partnership was key to that because we had different partners bringing different skills um, together to, to really benefit our local clubs. I think one of the things that this project has done is really um, boosted clubs' awareness of their own practices and um, where equity and inequity exist, they've been able to do some planning around some, some really tangible actions for them to improve their gender equity practices. Uh, a number of them have recruited differently and, and now have quite different profiles within the club, which is great. Pleasure Networks have been great for the entire project. Uh, they've provided us resources that we didn't know were out there, but not only that, we thought we were doing all of the right things and yet they've shown us that whilst we are doing the right things, there's things that we can do bigger and better along the way, which we are slowly implementing throughout the association. Uh, for example, we thought we were providing a safe place for all and everybody. However, we realised that just a female change room with a, a few different changes can make us a more inviting environment. We have a lot of uh, females uh, as assistant coaches. We have some as head coaches as well, but we thought that could improve. So we've worked um, and applied for some grants to assist with funding some of those, um, whether that's a um, restriction on some of them being head coaches already um, from the training and the cost of training. Um, we've taken that on where we can hopefully help with that to encourage them to get there. Uh, we're also in the process of setting up a Young Leaders program um, that'll be, work through our Youth League Women's program for girls aged 17 to 23 um, to help ensure that we have people uh, both trained and willing to go on in the future to take on leadership roles within the association as we aim to become more gender equitable. We decided to um, participate and we wanted to get it out there in the community that um, we are a, a not-for-profit family-based um, tennis club and at the same time we have, we have mixed and um, single-sexed um, tennis um, uh, teams and we have males and females on our teams as team managers and you know that's what our club is all about. It's a family-orientated tennis club, you know equal, no one's any different, no one's any better. We are just opening a soccer club and we might know how to coach kids, we might know how to play soccer, but there's the administration side, there's that uh, getting your club's name out there that we didn't know of. Without that support of Leisure Networks, without that support of Daniel Health, we would probably take longer to get there. 
It might take us five years to get there without your support. Where now, in one year, we've achieved so many goals. Instead of one girls team, we were expecting two girls teams now. So it's just a great thing to have that support. As girls, I reckon we should have equal rights no matter job, no matter anything. We should have rights to have the same equal to men, no matter the gender. Is there anything else you want to say? Go girls! Yeah, yeah.